Hello, Internet. Welcome back to the, the, the Steam page for Martian Memorandum because I forgot to actually get the game started. Uh, but we're on Mars in Martian Memorandum. The further adventures of Tex Murphy. Yeah, cue the music. And let's skip ahead because... Let's skip ahead. Let's, let's, let's game. Let's skip ahead. S skip ahead. Game. Skip ahead. Skip ahead. Game. Skip ahead. Game. Game. Skip ahead. Skip ahead. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um. And we need to load it up. Oh, I forget how jank this is. There. There it is. Lucky seven. Go to the casino. Big Dick's Casino! Okay, oh. and Wilson is at the controls. Yay. And I'm destroying my mic somehow. Like you're destroying everything else today? What have I destroyed today? Hmm. I don't know. I'm sure you've destroyed something. Okay. I'm sure there's a Yo Mama joke in there somewhere, but uh, I won't touch it. Be a very short stream if you did. Uh, do you have any idea what we're supposed to be doing? Because I forgot. Well, I can apparently walk through women, so that's something. Well, these are Martian women, so they're different. You see this? Yeah, I Oof, I see it. Get him yes. gone. There seems to be no response. And you're trying to talk to the slots for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Apparently these women don't actually exist. Perhaps they're cardboard cutouts. Oh, yep. there's a door. I'm clicking on the women, yet it's the door. So they are cardboard cutouts or illusions? Holograms? I mean, this is the future. Th that is a holographic uh, backgammon player? It's all an illusion. I know this is supposed to be some sort of card game, but it looks like backgammon. Oh yeah, we got some sort of blueprints from the uh, bathroom last time. Mm -hmm. uh, before we go up the stairs, um, you know, let's, let's let's clear out this level first. I don't think there's, I can't communicate with anyone. But you can open doors. There, there's a door there. There's another door there. There's an office over there. There's this an, is ashtray. an ashtray, apparently, shaped like a human. Can you open the door? They don't allow people back there. Okay, so I can't open that door. Well, you didn't even try. You tried to go to, not open. They don't allow me in there. See? Okay. They, they don't allow me in there. This ashtray is observing me and preventing me from opening the door. Kind of like how the, what is it, a cat or chicken in Skyrim can report you for a crime in that one place? I think that's every place, actually. It, it's some sort of bug in the uh, game. Uh, that's the exit. Well, we don't want to go there yet. They don't open. The wheel doesn't open. Before we go through the big door, there's another little there's there's a little door over to the side. Okay, that was locked. See, now we know. It, it's a, it's locked. Oh, I wonder if I could use the card to open. 
That nope. doesn't work. Okay. Well, this is the last place we can go into, right? Yep. Probably oh, gonna get shot or something stupid. Not my first mistake, but possibly one of the biggest. Inside the office, I'm immediately throttled by two goons the size of garbage trucks. After sufficiently crushing my larynx, I drop to the floor. Then one of them slams my head into a desk and I drift away. As I come to, I find myself facing none other than Big Dick Castro. Somehow he knows who I am and what I'm after. It's obvious he's after something from me. Well, we didn't die. Big Dick Castro has the most enormous head I have ever seen on a... Cu Cubal? Cuban. Totally bald, middle 30s, so it's far too late for him to learn to dress himself. He sports an orange polka dot shirt and tie. Someone had used a napkin and white rayon sports jacket. He sports a tie someone had used as a napkin oh. and he a white rayon sports jacket. He is everything you'd expect jacket. from a man with a big head named Dick. <laughs> His teeth are nicotine stained from one too many Havanas. And his English was just slightly better than my Spanish. Big Dick's great uncle Fidel was a top commie in Cuba, which meant he grew up on a uh, crust of bread and dirty water. This had made Dick tough as nails and meaner than a rabid skunk. He'd gotten the gist of capitalism and nothing would stand in his way. Okay. Murphy, where is it? Um. Hmm. Hmm. Response three, obviously. Oh yeah, ob obviously, yeah. Um. I wonder—is this going to be one of those where if we get it wrong, we're stuck? I mean, we haven't done anything. Uh, it's, that's true. I mean, we, we walked through some ladies. Yeah, we found out we can't go anywhere else. I mean, there's the stairs. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, so play dumb and say you don't know anything, or let them know you actually have it, or... We don't have it. May know where it is by saying, what's it worth to you, or just, you know... Yeah. Mm hmm What do you want to do? I really want to do three. Okay. You got the wrong attitude. Kill him. And wow. we died. A vicious thug pulls out his gun and air conditions your brain. Well, okay then. No, no back and forth. No smacking me around, torturing me. Just wrong move, asshole. Bam. Dead. Hmm. Okay. This is like Dark Souls hard. Again, I've never played Dark Souls. If you want to see me torture myself, though, let me know in the comments. Let's go upstairs first. You can't go there. Can't go there either. Okay, there's only one way to go then. Every step is stabbing my ears. this and we've seen this i want to know what the guy on the I right is doing he just he's, he's just like he like, he like steps forward and puts his hands in the air like like he's praying to an altar except it's just the i wall. think it's like he just smacked the shit out of you to wake you back up after they nearly killed you when you came in remember they like crushed your neck and slammed your head on the desk 
That's not what it looks like he's doing, though. I have a where it looks like he's calling a field goal in a sports thing or something, but that's what it's supposed to be, him just bitch slapping you across the face. All right. Okay, so, so three is not it. Three is definitely not it. Two probably seems like the most logical thing. You know, you're implying that you, you know something and he thinks you know something, so you're just playing him now. By, you know, yeah, uh, what's it worth okay, to you? So we got some horrible spam over there. We need to take care of that. Wow. Uh. Uh. I can't get off the screen, though. Um, hold on. Let me get a phone. I can take care of it from a phone. Uh, you continue entertaining the, uh, the, 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 the naked lady spammer. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that is a shit ton of emojis. Wow. Yeah, not safe for work. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. You too. What's it worth? Life? Is it worth your life? <gasps> uh, <laughs> uh, I asked him what's it worth, and he said, is it worth your life? Now I can respond. That's a good starting point, but you and I both know it's worth more than that. Uh, how about a million dollars? You can afford it? Mm. Okay, and stop wasting my time. Where is it? Remove the spam. Remove the spam. Eh, remove the spam. If it worth your life. Okay, there we go. Spam removed. Stop wasting my time. Where is it? Uh, let's see, make it with my time. I forget it. Listen, I don't actually have it, but I can get it. If I do response one, it, it creates an infinity loop. Of yeah, I feel like two is the way to go. Two is the only way to go because one, you know, can it stop wasting my time? Is it worth more than your life? And then we go back where I can ask him for a million dollars or I can, you know, say make it worth my time. So let's go with the response to. Couldn't we all? Um. Okay. Mm hmm. So let's try the uh, million dollars. Okay, that should probably actually take care of the. Actually, yeah. It's Yeah, message deleted. Okay. Might take time. Wow, game. I go, go to, and it's like the door is closed. You can just open the door? No, you have to open the door first. Dotex. See? Like, smacks him across the face. I I, it looks like he's praying to an invisible altar. Infinity loop. Now we're back to here. So, well, what about response one? This isn't about money. That one it's goes back to the other one, where chance. I can. Oh, we only have so many chances. Uh, if you kill me, you'll never find it. Mm, that seems like the right choice. I've got no idea where it is, and then he's like, oh, I'll just find it myself. Blam, you're dead. If we have no idea, then we're useless to him. You got the wrong attitude. Kill him. What? 
I don't think we're supposed to go here yet. We're we're missing something. But where else are we supposed to go? There's other places we could go. Um, not many. There was the Aeroish place, and we didn't get much from that. And there was Lowell, and he said he wanted something from Big Dick. Ah, okay. Then maybe we missed something somewhere else. Wait, this is the way out. Gotta open the door first. Then leave out the door. the Gucci bag in the corner. You open the purse and find some arid triple extra dry deodorant, a compact, some mascara, a hairbrush, some birth control pills, $20 in a wallet, and a checkbook with Jane Mansfield's home address. Now we can go talk to Jane Mansfield at home. We already spoke to her. Yeah, but not at her home. Or now we can go snoop through her house. We have her home address. We only talk to her here. This is new. Move it. See if there's something else. Won't move. Nope. Okay. It, it is magnetically fused to um, the little cubby. Jenny Mansfield's famous juice bar, where a carrot juice, mango juice, pineapple juice, and sodium-free bottled water is served. I think you mean are served. I think you'd prefer an open, encou open encounter with Jane. This counter does not open. Can I move him? Nope. You better spend some time on the weight machine first. You're too wimpy. Okay. Well, we talked to everybody and they didn't tell us anything. Yeah. So, should we just leave here now? Uh, there we go. The Yoruba Constructor's apartment is very tasteful. The room is surrounded on three sides by sleek leather couches. This is definitely not the kind of furniture you'd get from places that advertise on bus benches. Everything is custom, made and tailored to fit unobtrusively into the large spacious room. The ceiling towers ten feet from the floor and recessed lighting. Fixtures uh, glow warmly overhead. Oh, a seesaw! Or is that one of those, uh, like, sand thingies? A novelty known as the wave machine. Water shifts from side to side and it makes the sound of the ocean. An artificial house plant. <coughs> Several articles of sweaty workout clothes, which would look quite exciting on the right person. Avia cross training shoes with equalizing gravity pumps. Various magazines scattered on the tra uh, on the table. Most are on bodybuilding. A little bodybuilding wouldn't hurt you, Tex. 20th century peg game. They still make those? It's the remote control unit to operate the big screen TV. Turn it on, Tex. Two silk designer pillows. An artificial houseplant. 
Outside the window is a spectacular view of Martian scenery, spoiled only by the sight of freighters moving through the mountain to strip mining site. Yeah, that would disrupt the scenery. Giant strip mining machine just... Just a little bit. Ah, the beautiful mountains. Diesel and everything else. Okay, so now I guess we start moving stuff around, huh? You toss the pillows aside. There's a yellow thing on it. The note reads, Jane, some people are looking for me, so I feel it's not safe to stay here. I'm going to visit my brother Brad and find somewhere else to locate. Alexis. Ah. The girl. Find somewhere else to locate. Find somewhere else to locate. Why did Jane lie to you? Maybe if you had proof Alexis was here, she'd tell a better story. Well, we, we could take the note. You're still in look mode. You pick it up. Maybe that was the game's way of telling us to take the note. Okay, the house plant? Nope, won't budge. It's heavy. Okay. Move the couch. There's nothing hidden. Nothing in the couch? You sure? Okay. 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 <laughs> All you do is succeed in scattering them across the table. You move the swirl on the remote unit. The swirl? The screen lights up and appears to be some sort of a religious station. A beautiful woman named Deacon Hawk repeats a message Come to the temple. Come. And gives the address. Cult. You move the swirl. There's nothing underneath, but it's fun tossing the clothes around. The shoes, on the other hand, they don't move. Well, because they have the, the anti-gravity pump. So. Can't move them, apparently. House point? House point will move it. This thing? Move. Can you take the wave maker? Closet? No. Open. Closet. You touch the closet and the door moves. It's a bomb! An empty suitcase. The tag on the back says Alexis Alexander. Maybe we should take that as well. There's nothing inside though. It doesn't move. Okay, maybe we can't take it. What about the wave machine? It's an empty bag. You struggle with the table and uh, realize it's a waste of effort. Hey, Tex is getting smarter. Okay. I guess that's it. Do you see anything else we can move, I, open, or play with? I don't think so. Have you opened the house plan? Nope. Doesn't it doesn't open. open. It doesn't open, okay. Yeah, you know, you pull the, the trap door. Since this game just thinks we're supposed to know things. Like stepping inside the refrigerator. The last episode. Okay, I guess Aerobics Academy? 
maybe. Go interrogate her again. Wow, it suddenly got very silent. Uh, I found this letter. Maybe there's more you can tell me now. Okay, what, what do you want? What, what do you want to know? Just go down the list. Alexis had a big argument with her father before she left Earth. She took a stole that he valued over everything else. He believed the soul to have mystical powers. Terraform is Alexis' father's company. They own just about everything on this planet. Uh, 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 my face is going like, uh. Mystical stone, uh. religious cult. Seeing a pattern mm -hmm. here. Oh, no, I about that. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Alexis didn't get along with that woman. Uh. The vast the earth. <laughs> the standard explanation killed a group of early colonists to get the Martian artifact. Uh. Here is a manufacturing plant of here. I believe that's the guy Alexis has been seeing. Uh, uh, uh. This is right in the last shuttle. She was nervous and upset. She needed to hide for a while until her boyfriend, Rick Logan, was going to show up. She thought they were uh, going to return to stone to an heir of the colonists who were massacred. Then she got a message from Logan who said he wanted to sell the stone to the highest bidder and for her to not let anyone know about it. At this point, she got angry, felt like she'd been used by him. About the same time, I had some people come asking about Alexis. Uh, she decided it was time to leave and said she would stay with her brother, Bradley. Uh, let's see, where were we? Guy. Oracle, Oracle stone. stone. So, I don't know what it is, but it actually believes her father uh, died trying to get it back. I work here at the club uh, most of the time. Uh, there's never much else to do. I'm sure that will change over time. Uh, that's a hangout for roughnecks and mutants and dangerous places and characters of wicked men. Yeah, we learned. I've listened to her speak before. She's a mysterious but charismatic one. You can't help but believe many of the things she says. I'm in a cult now. Uh, Bradley is the discarded mutant son of Marshal Alexander. Here's an address I have for him. Discarded mutant son. That sounds wonderful. Well, you know, back in the Middle Ages, if uh, um, if a woman gave birth to a child that has some sort of defect, the child was usually just, like, left out in the woods. Or, or so the folktales go. At least there's one good thing about your body. It isn't as beat up as your face. <laughs> and that's everybody. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, Bradley something or other? Bradley Erickson. There we go. And then there's also the the cult, wherever that is. I uh, don't think we're get. Right oh, there. okay, maybe. But Bradley yeah, Erickson first. This one sounds. The right. temple sounds a little more in game. Off a dirty street, down a short alley, I find the address for Brad Erickson. I push the buzzer. No answer. I knock on the door for a while, and a light goes on. The door slides open, and a figure stands quietly staring at me. His looks even shock me a bit. 
Maybe he'd been struck by something thrown from a passing aircraft. Because Brad Erickson appears in this light to be six feet of breathing, walking, vomit. I'm afraid. <clears throat> Holy crap. <clears throat> what can I do for you? Yeah, he looks like a zombie. Oh, wow, he's... Okay. So well, is that the top? Just... Yep, that's the top. Are you sure? Did you arrow thingy? Yeah. It's ah. not the top. That's the top. Okay. Just before they died, my foster parents told me who my real father was. Marshal Alexander was ashamed of me when I was born a freak and gave me away to a mutant family. They brought me to Mars and took care of me as one of their own. I'm entitled to something from him. Well, he's not wrong. That corporation should be shared with me. I intend to give my portion to the mutants. I don't know anything about that. Alexis took the shuttle to get to Mars. Well, oh, he doesn't know a lot. Doesn't know a lot. I've heard of him. <laughs> it's very helpful. Everybody's heard of uh, Wow. Lol. Lol. You do like the guy in wings. Alexis mentioned that name. She said Logan used her to get the stone to sell the highest bidder. She didn't want any part of that, so she was hiding out. Alexis is my older sister. She found out she had a brother and searched me out. I know she's in trouble. I wish I could help. <clears throat> How wrecked is your voice going to be after this? Bad. When my sister came to visit, she told me she had stolen something called the Oracle Stone from my father. Alexis believes the stone has mystical powers. I think she was planning to return it, but she had no idea to whom... Alexis stayed with Jane before she came to see me. Castro's a heartless SOB. He's got a big safe inside his casino where he holds secrets on important people of Mars. When he found out I was Alexander's son, I... Uh, uh, When he found out I was Alexander's son, he tried to get something on me. Like a napkin to wipe up my face. Wait, what? The, what? Trying to get something out. He said something after that. Yeah. Tried to get something on me. Do we literally have to wait it out? Possibly. Nope. Just ended. It was a one-time thing? Come on, game. Deacon Hawk is the priestess of the temple. She tries to teach the Martian ways to those who she deems the pure in heart. I wonder if anyone could be as kind and wholesome as she appears to be. All my life I've been kicked around because of the way I look. I deserve a piece of my father's inheritance, and I intend to get it. Mm. 
Okay, I don't ready. He knows nothing. Keep looking for my sister, Tex. I know she's in danger. All right. That's that. Okay, I guess we go to the temple now. Because Lowell wants something in Big Dick's uh, safe. I don't think we can get there yet. No, we we went through and talked to him. We can't go upstairs yet. If we talk to him, it just ends up with us getting shot in the head. Because we don't say the right thing to him. So, Temple. I'm looking. It's under the casino. I'm looking for something else. Okay, no place new. No. So, yep, the only place we can go is the temple. I wish this game would like put things in order instead of just pegging something back at the top or the middle Like the, the ancient bottom. walled city of Petra. The monument of the temple is carved directly from the towering wall of the Martian granite. I don't think Mars has granite. Uh, the six ornate carved pillars stand below me, guarding the entrance to this... the holiest place of the ancients. A huge metal gate hinged to a massive courtyard wall that surrounds the temple, protecting it from intruders, blasphemers, and Martian party animals. Oh, it's a thing we have to explore. Have we saved recently? There. Now we have file eight. Okay, we got a gate, we got some buttons, we got some statues, we got some braziers, we got some holy hands. Eternal torches burn the sacred oil of Talama. Hieroglyphs of a forgotten race and language. Statue of the ancient Martian god of darkness, Deimos. Statue of the ancient Martian god of light, Phobos. That's a nothing. Also nothing. Also, oh, ancient Martian temple recently excavated out of the rock. Fence is titanium and steel and masonry. A recent addition. Many thanks to the Martian Preservation Association. Crash proof security gate of titanium and steel. Manufactured by the oil of Talma. Honeywell security control. Oh wait, don't we have a Honeywell remote control? I think we do. Yeah, remote control. Nah, it doesn't seem to work. Oh well. I guess it's like Tamo Lock. It, they're just like everywhere in the universe. Oh, oh, there's a... There's a... What? Deacon Hawk may have been a high priestess, but she looks more like a goddess. In her late 20s, she is tall, almost six feet. Her hair is very white and as thick as rope. It trails down her shoulders and back. Her sensuality is so intense, I can practically feel her heart beating from where I am. She is clad in a shimmering red ceremonial gown, a striking contrast against her unblemished skin. Like fine porcelain, her skin reflects the light, making her almost luminous. Her red lips are very full, and her azure blue eyes glisten and through them to the very depths of her. I see a fire smoldering, smoky, and hot, fueled by the oil of Talma. Hello, my name. Oh, <clears throat> hello, my name. <laughs> I thought that was her. <laughs> hello, my name is Tex Murphy. Tex Murphy. Uh, can we lose the reverb? Um, it, it's, it's really interfering with the mic. Uh, so I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Is it true that this, church, this is March of Church? I'm a poor downtrodden B.I. What can your religion offer me? 
Let's see, what do we say? Did we just screw that up? Possibly. I mean, you could have checked to see if she would come back. Questions? The prophecy states that knowledge can only be given when the light returns. Okay, she doesn't come back. Okay. Well, let's do the stupid thing and uh... be stupid. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's odd how we don't get the intro this time. Okay, so no matter what we say, we get the same response. I feel like. We need to somehow get inside and light things up. Well, I mean, have we tried just like messing with the button? makes a soft buzzing noise. Bzzz. 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 Have you got a crate in your pocket? Interesting. If somebody were to tune in right now. Bzz, 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 <laughs> okay, I guess that's not gonna work. Well, you did have to do the text thing, didn't you? Yeah, you know, this game sometimes you have to do something like a hundred times over to draw attention to it. Somebody go, What? What do you want? Stop what you do. Just knowingly hit somebody's buzzer or doorbell or whatever. Nothing. Um, maybe the light she's referring to is the Oracle Stone and we're actually supposed to return it? Possibly. Okay. So, we went to Smuggles Base, we went to the casino. Robo's Academy, we get her bag, we got her address, we went to her house. Mm -hmm. um, got the letter, picked it up. Yeah. Found the suitcase, turned on the TV, got the address for the temple, went back to the academy, got Bradley Erickson's address, went to him. I don't think we got anything from him. Were we supposed to show him something? No. Um, so somehow he gave us infrared glasses. What? Yeah, uh, let's, uh... Talk to Bradley about everything, and he'll also give you some infrared glasses. Use, uh... Oh, glasses. Glasses on... That is adorable. On, on the, on the... It did change. You see all things red stuff now? The silver? No, that was always there. Hmm? It was always there. Okay. I 
I mean, you'd think infrared glasses would actually see something. Use, um, gun on button. That doesn't work. Hence? Power plant? What? Power plant. Power plant? Between the casino and the aerobics academy and everything we just did, what, there's what, what, a what, power plant. What, okay, uh... Okay, we were just supposed to travel. What the hell was Deacon Hawk talking about? What did she mean? My coming was foretold, and that business about the light. Only when the light returns will she give me information. What kind of light? One thing's for sure, she knows what's going on around here. So we were just supposed to travel away. Okay. That's it. Now what? Uh, power plant. We don't have a power plant. Did we ever pick up the blueprints in the bathroom? Yeah. yeah. That... Okay. Well, go back out of here so we can get into our inventory somehow and use, use the blueprints. Blueprints with the button. No, no, the button. That doesn't work. Uh, who are we supposed to use the blueprints with? I have no idea. Uh, okay, maybe... Lowell wanted the blueprints? Uh, Lowell Percival, Mr. Business with all the blah blah blah. We, 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 we read about that. I'm afraid I have no reason to talk to you. There's something I need from Dick Castro's safe. If you get it, we'll talk. Otherwise, don't bother me. Okay, so he doesn't want it. Not the blueprints, at least. Go from the smuggler's base to the casino. Mm hmm. Dark alley to the left of the casino. Move the oil rag. Pick up a flashlight. Da -da -da -da. The words bombshell. Get inside. The password. Blah, blah, blah. Car that was at the steps, we picked that up. Mm -hmm. Look at the door, open it, wait for the man to leave, take out the blueprints, leave the restroom, then open the door between the stairs and go through the exit to the casino. Then it just says power plant. Hmm. What? Yep. There's. Th we don't have a power plant. We, we don't have an option of getting into a power plant. Aerobics Academy, Jane Mansfield Home, the Aerobic Academy again, Bradley Erickson, and then it talks about Dr. Lawrence Barkley, who we also don't have. Uh. Lyle Percival will refuse to talk to you until you get something from Dick Castro safe. Um, did we somehow screw up by not getting enough information from Earth? See, I, I thought... I thought... Where, where's... Okay, he's not here. But I thought the um, Andretti thing was the only thing we needed from Earth. That would, like, you know, break the game if we got to Mars before we got it. Doesn't seem like we missed anything. That's the murder scene. That's the terraformers safe that we had to dig up and go back and Terraformer find. safe. What? Terraformer. The office. Pick up two names. Pick up two names of the office. What? After the murder scene, we went there. Use your calmly, ask they some better things. We did not do that. Logan. 
We did not go back to the Terraform office after the murder. So we did not get those two names. With the painting on the left, use your key to open the safe. Look in the safe to your names. Hmm. We didn't do that. Oh. Interesting. Anyway, the um, talking to him is a timed event, so maybe we should try that. Direct response is one one two. Then save your game because the next section is a timed event. Uh, okay, so the casino. Okay. Okay. Nope. Never mind. What? Um, we have to um, use a hoverboard to navigate through the laser beams. We don't have a hoverboard. We get the hoverboard from the power plant. I, I feel like we need to go back in time. Yes, I feel like we need to go way, 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 way back in time. Let's see, load. We should have used names instead of numbers. Apparently. I, I know this was in the casino. This may have been when we got to Mars. Think so maybe it's five? Load five. So we're in the jungle. Um travel. Oh that that's right, we gotta We gotta go all the way over to here. There. Okay, now travel. I said travel. Uh, let's see. Okay, so murder scene is a thing. Mm -hmm. Murder scene has happened. Uh, let me make sure of something. Move. Bouquet. You move the rocks and a bunch of disgusting radioactive bugs. Uh, you find nothing else. Okay, so I guess we got the murder weapon. Okay, so now let's travel to Terraform. Okay. Oh no, the foxy lady's not there anymore. Okay, I guess that means we can go in. Ah! It's terrifying. Okay, so now what do we do? Remove one of the paintings? No, I mean one of the NFTs. A gray Grundig 12 double apostrophe wall safe that requires a key. Use keys. The safe comes open as the key is turned. An original Renoir oil entitled Nice Flowers Part... Okay, not, not, not the painting. Not the painting text. Special funds checkbook with record of payments totaling $250,000 to Lawrence Barkley. A note from Ferris Collett. On employee dissatisfaction, Collett is the power plant manager on Mars. Just look at it. It's all the something you something something ya. That wouldn't be a good idea this time. It throws an eerie shadow across the office floor. Life support monitors are built into the desk. What? Life support monitors? What? Interesting. Apparently he was on his deathbed. Or death desk. Sadly, he died in a train yard, not at his desk. Now what do we do? Now we have to go do everything we did. Are you sure? Yes. Anything that we didn't do, we've no, already I mean, done. Are, are you sure there's nothing else to do? Yes, that was it. We got the name. Now we have a power plant and a doctor that we originally did not have. So now we just have to do everything else. I mean, I mean, are we sure we're not skipping anything else? That's what I'm saying. Now we have to do everything else that we did not do beyond this point. I don't know when 
this part of the game is, what we didn't do. We'll have to go back and make sure we dug up the thing. We'll have to go back and make sure we went through the, the house and the safe and shooting the snake and finding the dead guy. Okay, Murder Saint was down there. I know. This is... That's earlier in the game. Mm-hmm. Yep, this is Texas office, Terraformers, Alexis House, Jacques, Texas office. I mean, we're immediately after Chantel, the murder scene, Jacques, so the murder scene is down there. Plaza, the office, Nora, Chantel, Guy, Mac, Guy again, Mac again. I mean, again. the murder scene is down there. Fedora. I know. I'm making sure we didn't miss anything, because we did miss some things to have to go back and do them again. The murder scene with the knife. Make sure we did all this with Johnny Fedora. I'm pretty sure we did that before the murder scene. Because the murder scene triggers from... something. I forget what, though. Wait, wait a minute, let's see. Uh... The letter, cat food... Okay, so so the murder scene happens after the um. Uh, yeah, the murder scene is the next thing after that. Yard with the cat and the dog. Mm-hmm. But then this part right here, this is the one we didn't do. Like, how would we know to go back and check the paintings in his office? <sighs> I guess people got to the point where we did. And they're, they're like, I, I can't do anything, so I guess just start over and try everything that I didn't try before. Yeah, like, the dude's dead. We, we don't have any other information. Now we need to find his killer. Not go back and investigate his office and click on everything. But literally, right after the murder scene, you're supposed to go back and rummage through his office. Oh, and call Stacy. Mm-hmm. And you said we weren't, weren't skipping anything else. I said I didn't know if we were skipping anything else. What's up? Uh, what, what Use your com link and ask Stacy about everything. Mm. Well, no, we just need to ask her about the new things. No, no. It clearly says to ask her about everything. This game well, doesn't... We've already asked her about all of these things except for the two new things. Mm -hmm. Where are the two new things? Oh, mm -hmm. the doctor. Lawrence. Ah. I'll transmit the address. He's a surgeon who has a practice on Mars. His office is in Mariana City. And then the other one is a power plant. Ah, Pierre. Pierre? Pierre is... It's Ferris. Mm -hmm. I checked the resources. There's no information on that subject. Okay. Oracle Stone. No information on that subject. Okay. You can talk. No information. Okay. Angelo Andretti. I'll transmit the information. I think we already got this, because, yeah, you know, there's congressman murdered in his home. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Underworld crime lords. Let's ask about ourselves. So, T Stacy, you think we're hot? I'll transmit the information. You're a San Francisco PI who gained worldwide fame on the Mean Streets case. You also owe me two months back wages. Love, Stacy. I guess that's a no. No, she doesn't love you. She just loves the money. See you later. That you owe her. For the last two months. Oh, boy. Okay, so, I, yeah, we have to go back to the jungle thing, make sure we got the thing. Wait, do we have the shovel? Do we lose something after we use it? Sometimes? 
Okay, so you're gonna go back to the jungle, jump across the puzzle, go all the way across. But good news, I see no ammo, which means that we killed the snake. Okay. Bad news, we have no shovel. Wait, what? I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that. Sorry, sorry, Stacy. I didn't want to call you. I was looking for a shovel. See you later. I have to go back to the lobby first. Uh, okay, I guess down. Okay. Right. Dig up the shovel. And we'll get another name. Uh, where is it? Is it Rick Logan? Yeah. Oh. I thought we were past this. Oh, no. No, we're not past that. Oh, here's the cheat sheet if you want it. Whoa. Mm. Okay, we gotta go to, and then we go to here. Nope. I can't reach it from here. Wait, 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 wait. Save. Uh, let's do five. Save. Okay. Go to mm. that one. What do you mean I can't reach it from mm. there? The first two rocks in row one. What do you mean I can't reach it from here? The first two rocks in row one, the next two rocks in row two, three rocks in row three. I, I can't reach it. And then you got to go back and forward and over. I didn't even move a pixel. Here, I'm just going to leave this here for you. Well, you die multiple times. I'm going to go get some more water. Uh, would you like a refill? Uh, I got plenty. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I, I just got to get on the first rock. Just got to get on the first rock. Somehow get on the first rock. Do I get on this one first? Nope. Why, game? Why? 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 I can't reach it from here. I can't reach it from here. I can't reach it from here. I can't reach it. From, why can't I reach it from here? Now I can make it without dying. I, I'm, I'm literally on top of it, yet I still can't reach it. Anyway, so the rock directly in front of you. And this one. And the one in front of it. And this one, and then. And then the three in the back. And then. The one in front of you. The one in front of you. Now the one behind you in the second row. The number two. And then down from that one. The number one. And then the one in front of it. Th this one? Yes. And... Save the game. Yes. I think it's the one in front of you, but it might be the one in the middle. That was my wait. Okay. Okay. Because it goes off-centered and it's a little confusing. Don't go in the spikies. Levitating on the side of a thing. Okay, we did dig up the thing. That's okay. why we were missing the shovel. Okay. Uh, just to be sure, though, let's look inside it. Oh, it mixed miscellaneous worthless items and an ad torn from Martian newspaper. The ad is from the Martian Aerobics Academy. The instructor is James Mansfield. Okay. And now I gotta... I gotta, I gotta go back. We gotta go all the way back. Go to the smuggler's base. Snoop around. Find some things. Hide inside of a refrigerator so that we'll be taken to Mars with the rest of the loot. 
Uh, how do I get out of here again? The one in front of you. The number three. Now it's the second rock. This one? No, this one. I, I can't go there. Oh, you can't go there? See? Can't reach it. Okay. Rock one, rock one. See, so yeah, it's the one behind you then. No, no, I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go this way. Is there not a rock behind you? You mean the number two? Yes, the number two. Remember, th this is one, this is two, this is three. That's why I said the one behind you. Did you say there wasn't one behind this you? This is one. The rock immediately behind the rock you were standing on. The number two that's behind me. Yes. What about it? Can you stand on it? No, I cannot. Okay. You have to be consistent with your directions. I was. Now you were saying the one when it's the two. The one singular individual rock that is behind you. The number two behind me. It's the damn blueprint. Figure it out. <laughs> uh, okay, so I go here. And then 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 I go here. Uh, then I go here. And then I go here. And then I save the game. Yes. Don't load. Save. And I and think we magically I should walk be able off to... of it. Uh, yep, yep. Even though his foot so, clearly yeah. steps right in the quicksand. And about five times previously, when we first got here, doing the exact same thing. Die, 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 die. Oh, yeah, Smuggler's Base, I gotta be ready to, uh, do, do a little, uh, sneaky Rooney. Little sneaky Rooney. Little sneaky Rooney. Sneaky Rooney. Little sneaky Rooney. Yeah, sneaky Rooney. Yeah. Yeah, little sneaky Rooney. Don't ask me what that means. First of all, first of all, we gotta hide. Remember? Yeah. We gotta do a sneaky Rooney. Sneaky Rooney. Sneaky Rooney. Okay, it looks like the table is empty. These things are open. I think we've been here before. Mm -hmm. So I guess. Control that we'll do. So now we just have to hide inside the refrigerator with the dangerous stuff. You climb inside. Okay, and we've been through this before last week. And apparently I've got even more not safe for work spam that I have to deal with. Remove. I should probably report this user because it's the same one every single time. Oh, it's the same user? Yeah. Not just random bots? No, I mean, look, look, look at the username down there. Same one every single time. Ah. Okay, flip around. There we go. Okay. And okay. Report. So. Uh, for I want to report the user. I think user? if you report the message, you also report the user. This report. Uh, see, I want a commercial counter spam. It's kind of like spam. Pornography or sexually explicit material, kind of, because that's in the username. No, that's the one you need to report it for. Okay. Report. It's, uh, uh, naked, Report. high definition, 18 plus server thing. For this content to be a violation of community guidelines, we'll remove it. Okie dokie. Nope. Oh boy, so many things. 
Let's see, there, there's a there's a card somewhere in here. Okay, go to the back alley. Da -da 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 -da. Move the rag. Find the flashlight. Move the board. Hold the board. Hold the board. And okay. Oh yeah, that we get the password. That's how we get in. Okay. Move the board. Get the pen. Then leave the alley. I think you just have to like walk toward the camera. The controls are very inconsistent. Okay, then we'll all go to the casino and we'll immediately give the password. Now you have to open the door. Now I can go to. Okay. Okay, we gotta go to the back. Wait, wait, there's a thing right there. Open the door to the casino, you will automatically have the password. Go through the door, look at the card at the bottom right of the stairs, and pick it up. That's that. Okay, and then there was... Go to the casino. bathroom. Go to the bathroom, wait for me to leave, get the blueprints, and then leave the casino, because there's nothing else to do. Gotta open the door before you can go to the door. I don't think he cares. You, you know how it is, you go to pick up the blueprints, you accidentally try to pick up a toilet. all the time. stuff that we've already done before we go to the power plant because we, we know what we did yeah it literally just click 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 that's what i was saying yeah. we, we can either run through some crazy new place or we can just quickly... and then forget all the things that we've already done exactly <laughs> or we can do the stuff we've already done while you can actually remember it all right uh, so first thing's aerobics, first academy. aerobics academy lol he he just tells us he wants something from the from the safe See, talk to a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. Talk to you, blah, blah, blah. Talk to you, blah, blah, blah. Talk to you, talk to you. And then ask her everything. And I don't feel like doing her voice again. So we just like speed through and get all the information. And she's still doing the uh, face. Got serious under right. This one had gotten to bodybuilding. Eh. So people will look at my muscles instead of my underbite. Eh. I don't know why I think of an underbite sounds like eh. And that's 
And now the lady's gone, we can poke around. Okay, we got the address. We can go to the address now. Mm -hmm. Uh, that one? No. And now we have evidence of her knowing Alexis, then we get the brother, then talk to the brother. And... Uh, Let's see. Okay, first things first Those is pillows. we fiddle with this. Oh, yeah, that. And then we look at this, and now we get the church. All right, yeah. And then we move the pillows. And we get this. And uh, we didn't get it. We didn't. We didn't look at it. We didn't look at it. You looked at the couch. That's still the couch. Okay, there we go. Now we get it. Uh, let's see the secret door. Or the secret door. Open the closet. And then she left the bag. That we cannot get at all. Yep. Even though it's completely empty. With zero gravity. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. No, no, that's the shoes. Yeah. The shoes have like some zero gravity well to the floor thing. But the bag is just the bag. We can just pick it up. Shove it in our backpack, satchel, whatever. Nope. Mm -hmm. Even just take the name tag off of, you know. Because it's. Like Alexa's handwriting and everything, because that's what people do. They write their name, address, phone number, everything mm -hmm. on those little cards in their suitcase. Just take that. That's proof enough. Nope, we can't take any of it. Okay, now we go back to the aerobics place. And we use the uh, the note. Yeah, well, we just talked to her and instantly it's like, oh, you've caught me. I guess you got the horrible underbite. Eh. You lost your place, didn't you? No, it just went back to the front because it gave me some new information. I asked her about Alexis, and then she introduced her brother. So it oh, Ferris reset. Colette. Yeah. She doesn't know anything about him. Okay. Mm. Mm. Should we Stacy? Hmm? Should we Stacy any of these names? Stacy any of them? Yeah, you know, the, the comm link. Maybe. Like, like while we're here in an area where we can actually, you know, do that. Sure. Why not? Cancel. Uh, use comm links. What's up? These new people. Uh, uh, Ferris Collette. Yeah. No information. Uh, Bradley Erickson. Bradley Erickson. No information. The Deacon. No information. Uh, Let's scroll up. The uh, Doctor. Yeah. I'll transmit the address. Mariana City. And what was the other one? Uh, the power plant? The Oh, the pers the Ferris. Ferris, whatever his name is. It's not up here. So it's further down. There it is. All right, double click. Nope. No, no information. information. Okay, that's everybody then. Yep. All right. 
See you later. Okay, so now we go to Brad. The Incredible Melting Man! So, if only yep. they were like in alphabetical order. Yeah. Is that the top? Yeah. Are I you think sure? so. Nope. Marshall. Because Marshall and Alexander is always at the top. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the theme of the game. <laughs> you know, the big business guy, always at the top. And so it is in real life. All these multi-billion dollar corporations buy all our politicians to get all of the um, rules and laws changed in their favor. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the 21st century and we're still on oil. And we keep making trucks and cars bigger with bigger engines so they eat more oil instead of being smaller and more fuel efficient. Yeah, and, and the... Uh... The restrictions and regulations on uh, clean energy are, are so ridiculous, time-consuming, and costly that it's just, like, inefficient compared to oil. I've heard of him. By the way, you should come to the casino sometime. I have a show every Friday night. I melt in front of everybody. My eyeball falls out too. I was given these glasses by someone who said they would help. Really wanted something from Castro. I can't risk trying to use them, so you can have them. Something to do with the security of the safe. Okay, that's the glasses, and that's the message you missed. All right. Okay, and I believe we're caught up now. You want to go to the temple and just trigger that talking point? Sure, why not? Get it over with. Robust glass, man. That's it for now, okay? Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Power plant. Mm -hmm. right, yep, yep. The, the thing. Mm -hmm. And she appears out of nowhere. Chuck Murphy, you're kind of more foretold. If you're in Kent, that is unclear. Uh, okay, now what was the, uh, the name of the lady on, on Captain Planet? She had like a horribly disfigured mm. half side of her face or she wore her hair over that, that, that side of her face. I have no idea. Dr. Blight, was that her name? I, I'm getting that kind of vibe right here. Possibly. Mm -hmm. The prophecy states that knowledge can only be given when the light returns. And then we try to travel. And we get this uh, little um, cutscene. 
Yeah, Texas notes. What the hell is she talking about? Total cult. Yeah, we should definitely save at this point. Uh-huh. Okay. Um... Let's see, that's everybody. They probably want to hit cancel. Yep. And save. Save. I guess overwrite eight so we don't get confused. Yes. Now travel to the power plant. Right? I I guess. I mean, we've never been there. <clears throat> the plant was the first nuclear facility on Mars, and like so many of the early Martian constructions, it is gray, drab, and massive. Constructed mostly of titanium, it is actually made of pieces of the great cargo ships that brought the first building materials to Mars. Everything was cannibalized from those early missions. Sounds lovely. I mean, you kind of have to do that when you're colonizing a planet and you're, uh, you got, you got you know, scarce building materials. Oh, look. The Terraformers logo. Okay, I guess we we'll look at everything. Uh, all right. An overflowing tan colored trash can with the uh, Terraform Corp logo on the outside. It appears the custodian took a few weeks off. Various pieces of something. The printer. Various pieces of trash, including paper, cups, computer printouts, data, and candy bar wrapper. The printer is dusty and needs some maintenance. Paper spills out from the printer, sitting on the unattached desk. Does that mean we could take it? A stir-looking metal chair designed for discomfort sits in front of the desk. A secretarial chair made of Martian alloy. One wheel is missing. The Terraform Company logo is mounted to the wall. A sliding door. The name of the door says Ferris Collette, plant manager. A monitor light cycles through various security points throughout the plant. The massive chrome steel door is covered with ornamental Martian iron. SXC sexy security maintenance system with a small card slot. I think I know what we have to do. And, and the spam is back again. Why spam? Remove. 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 And this is a new user, I guess, so report. Okay, what were we doing? No, 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 don't need to move there. Right here, there we go. And this? The operating mechanism for the door. Maybe you push it? Yep. I was thinking we had a, a security card, but we don't have one yet. We have the casino card, not the... Whatever this card is. I was going to use card on there, but it, it's not the same one. See, so it's that card. I doubt that card works here. So, we're going to do the logical thing and push the button. No. No, 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 no. Cancel. What if you just move, move the button? Yeah. The door slides open. Look inside. It's a sliding door. Name on the thing is a thing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, looks uh looks like a, a thing. It uh, definitely looks like a uh, Martian base of some kind. A large piece of equipment you couldn't even guess the function of. It, it, another one of those. Uh, yet another one of those. A sample of Martian iron ore. A sample of Martian iron ore. A commemorative cup from the 2035 Martian Engineers Annual Picnic. A set of engineering manuals. Another one of those. Outside the window, a sandstorm is raging near the Tharsis Bulge. An intercom system for communication with all plant employees. A paperweight made of Martian iron shaped to look like Olympus Mons. An IBM 24860 personal computer. Another one of those. A luxurious thick padded soft leather chair designed to make its occupants feel on easy street. Well, there was a stiff steel chair made for discomfort. Mm. Yeah, that's for people visiting, talking to the secretary. I mean, what about that chair there? Okay, well, a diploma was issued from MIT to Ferris Collette. An uncomfortable iron back chair designed to make visits short and sweet. See, that, that's why. Right there. Well, what about the lab coat? Something in it. A security pass guard says partially exposed to the coat. Um, yoink. Don't mind me, sir. You'd get caught immediately with it. Oh, come on. The card, okay. Yeah, text doesn't exactly look like the, um, intelligent type. Still looking right? We're still in, no, we're on get now, so we need to go back to look. A console filled with switches, lights, and indicators which monitor the operation of the plant. An another one of those. A small man stands looking silently at the mini gauges. It's a Ferris Collect. I'm going to save at this point. We haven't done anything stupid yet. And then we're going to talk to the person. Which is very stupid. Yes. <laughs> yes. Talking to people is stupid, people. Ferris Collette is a man who knows how to get things done. An arrogant technocrat, Collette is not a man to cross. A perfectionist. He has fired more men than most people know of Plant Ferris. Uh, Off Plant off-plant Ferris is known as a fiery-tempered, hard-drinking, womanizing sponge head. The world can rest easy with Ferris Collette around. I mean, I know I feel safe. They they obviously know how to use commas and stuff, but they don't use them in places they should. <laughs> and and they, they they insist on using a very hard-to-read font on a very busy background. What can I do you for? Her? Well, let's start at the top. Hmm. Off the record, I can't say that I'm heartbroken that he's dead. He never treated his employees like people. They were cowed him. He made promises to us and never kept them. I hope the next president will look out for us. Terraform runs and owns, operates most of the facilities on Mars, but the cost has been enormous. Lately, they've been missing their payroll. With the death of Alexander, who knows what's going to happen? His eyes are bloodshot. It's like he's high. Okay, maybe it's all the alcohol. Wow, you really don't know much. Do you know about the TMS? Uh, the shuttle is a commercial flight that runs between Earth and Mars every six weeks or so. He knows about the president of the company. He knows about the company. He knows about the shuttle that takes people here. But he knows nothing about anything else. Well, most of those things are on Earth. Hmm. 
Staten Expedition. Now, uh, the infamous Staten Expedition. Uh, that's the group of scientists who came to Mars 25 years ago. Members of that party murdered a group of early settlers for some Martian artifact. Lowell Percival heads the silicon mining and production facility. He and Alexander have been fighting over control of the production for years. He must be a hell of a businessman to compete with Alexander on his turf. That's how he turns his head and looks away. Suspicious. Now that Alexander's dead, who knows? Maybe Percival will be calling the shots up here. Hmm. I assume that's why you're here. Uh, the employees have been told to listen and watch for any sign of Marshall Alexander's daughter out here. There's a rumor that she did come to Mars a few weeks ago, but uh, no one has found her yet. I don't know anything about that, but that's who you are. He's a robot made by Percival <laughs> to keep tabs on everything. That's why his eyes are so weird. So they're not bloodshot. They're just glowing red. Mm -hmm. And then He's they just a terminator. Put, then they just put those weird blue contacts on him to try and hide it. He's a terminator, mm -hmm. just like Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, in that movie. I'm, I'm going to say he's more like a uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Because mm. he doesn't know much. <laughs> Just what he needs to know. Uh, uh, the Oracle Stone. Jane Mansfield. Castle Rose, the only entertainment spot left in the planet. He's a dangerous and ruthless man. He owns the Golden Bucket Casino. I stay clear of the place, but there are a lot of people who owe him their lives and wages. I thought he owned big... Oh, oh. But what can you do? There's nothing on this rock but tedium. I thought Big Dick owned Big Dick's casino. Deacon Hawk is a religious wacko that opposes development of Mars. Isn't that crazy? If they had their way, uh, they'd dissolve all ties to Earth and live on small colonies and worship an ancient Martian lifestyle that's been gone for millions of years. Wait, 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 are you saying there was life on Mars millions of years ago? Apparently. Remember the Martian temple was built there already when we got here? They they didn't build it? Okay, so we're getting into some ancient aliens kind of stuff now. Apparently. Looks like you could use a hot shower and a cold beer. Yes. Yes, we could. We just found Texas. Or, or, as, tech, or as Tech would say, I don't know about the shower, but a beer sounds nice. Yep. Oh, no, I mean, we were in a um, refrigerator for a while. We probably could use a shower. Been mucking around in the trash in the back alleys and everything. Yeah, this is Texas' new friend. He said he could use a beer. <laughs> She's probably like, you get me, my people. All right, that's everything here. So, now we'll save again. So we don't have to go through all that talkie talkie again. Save, 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 save. And I guess we exit and then do a very stupid thing. Some people never learn. Try a different approach. I think the door's already open. The door, what? We tried to open the door! I'll use the button. You're getting more and more into the character as the series goes on. into an old-fashioned doorknob. Turn it, it opens. <laughs> All oh, these damn else. buttons and switches and 
jumping through who? This is the what was that thing it's called, called? The future. The the Rube Goldberg machine to to do something. Yeah. The future slame. If this is what the future is. Hmm. Okay, let's do something stupid and uh, try to get into the strict st 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 the statistic that area. Um, didn't we get like a security card or something? Yeah, I thought. Oh, door, card, key. The heavy door slides open. Nobody heard that. I'm gonna say yes. Yes. Okay, look in first. door opens into an open chamber that contains a colossal power generation system. I feel like we're about to die. Is that levitating meat? Oh no, that's, that's Mars rocks. A titanium trap door leads to the ore dump. A huge liquid-cooled superconductive electromagnetic Infrastructured by CFI Industries. A large oxygen catalytic cracker processes carbonated rock and iron oxide from the Martian surface into liquid oxygen. A process developed by Toxico. If it's not toxic, we didn't do it. Yeah, I can just see that. Like, the used car salesman guy. I see pixels right there. Right here? Yeah, what are, what are those? A large metal monkey wrench lies here. We might need that. The supercooler for the freed oxygen. the wrench. A brushed aluminum door with a small sign that reads, warning, door does not open from this side. Um, but what if it did? What if it did? You're still trying to look at the ore? No, no, I was seeing what was behind the... Open the door? But how do I open the door? With, with open? Some people never learn. It does not open from this side. Okay. I mean, look, sometimes people put signs on doors to make you do stupid things. <sighs> and sometimes people put doors in stupid places to make you do stupid things. I mean, you'd be amazed uh, what you can do if you just place an official looking sign on a door. Mm hmm. Oh, I know. <clears throat> we're, we're getting better now, but especially in the 90s, it was so easy to just like move a do not enter sign or, you know, put on like a uniform and just walk into a place and act like you know what you're doing and start setting up like restricted signs and stuff. Let's have one of those like, um,. Uh, mass shooter people got in just walked in with the thing and the hard hat put the elevator out of sign or whatever and went to the top and just like killed a bunch of people crazy yep just people are like, gullible just act like you belong and people don't care mm. Mm. it's probably to do with our schooling 
Sit down. Show up. Follow instructions. Don't question anything. Well, we've lost our critical thinking skills or whatever. I mean, this person looks like they're in th an authority, so, uh... Yeah. They know what they're doing. I'm sorry, you can't go in here. Oh, okay. I'll just take the stairs. Mm. Mm. Uh, let's see... It seems like we've done everything we can in this room. Power plant, talk to Ferris, da 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 da, get the door key, da 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 da, avoid the trap door, get the monkey wrench. Do you want me to read this to you? Sure, why not? Okay. So, push the button, go through, da da da, get the card out of his pocket, talk to him, uh, move the switch next to the door, go back to the first room, here's the card key, go into the restricted area, walk right, going around the trap door, pick up the monkey wrench from the floor, walk back and stand just right of the trap door. Keep trying to use the monkey wrench on the large magnet at the top of the screen and you will eventually end up at the top walkway in a hidden storage room. What? How did people figure this out back in the day? <laughs> I'm gonna use the monkey wrench on the giant magnet that's like... Seven Texas taller than me. I mean, I mean, I get that the monkey wrench is probably magnetic. Although, why you would have a magnetic material in a room with a giant ass magnet? That that just seems. Oh no, you need, you need to be on the right. I mean, it, it seems like keeping magnetic things in a room with a giant magnet, you know, like. I don't know, an MRI is, like, a safety hazard? I would have left this room and never come back. Would not have think to use the monkey wrench. It's not the right time, not the right time. When is it the right time, game? Uh-oh, you're going. You're going. There you are. Ugh. And okay. apparently Tex doesn't even know how to go through the door without go to. And I'm gonna save right here so I don't have to go through that again. Uh, is it trap? What, what am I walking into? I mean, you just save so you can find out nice and safely. Yes, and Tex can't just walk through a doorway. We have to... What? What, what game? <sighs> uh... I, I think this is intentionally intended to troll the player. Uh, Alan Rich is covered in board or board what you decide to take with you. Yep, Alan Wrench overboard. Hmm. And now I can open the door. The door, the door swings, swings open. open. And he walks behind the open door. Clever. Oh, 
Now we can leave. Don't fall in, don't fall in, don't fall in, don't fall in, don't fall in! Go to this door. How do I leave this place? Just travel? Travel? Let's see, and um... I think this is a good enough place to stop now. Probably, we probably want to save. Yeah, probably want to save. Alright, so the power plant, go through the door, da 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 da. Aerobics Academy, her home. Ah, Dr. Lawrence Baker. Okay. I think we'll go there. You mean Barkley? Yeah. Barkley, yes. We'll go here. Dr. Lawrence Barkley's office is filled with antiques and expensive furniture. Barkley's secretary tells me the doctor will be here shortly. Save. That is a freaky statue. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. Okay. So I guess next week we, uh, no, not next week because uh, a thing is happening at work. So the week after, I get Dr. Lawrence Barkley's idea of the ultimate woman, a perfect body with a cash register for a brain. Anyway, uh, like I was saying, uh, in two weeks, uh, we will continue this when the speak with uh, the womanizer Barkley, <clears throat> I mean uh, Dr. Lawrence Barkley. Uh, in the meantime, did this make you laugh? Did this make you smile? Did this brighten your day in any way, shape, or form whatsoever? And, uh, 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 you're, you're interrupting my outro. You don't have to watch me. Just speak. But I, I'm facing the screen. I see the things that are happening on the screen. Ooh, movement. Yes. Uh -huh. Yep. Yep. My eyes are very sensitive to movement. It's from decades of playing video games. Anyway, did this make you laugh? Did this make you smile? Did this brighten your day in any way, shape, or form whatsoever? If it did, pass it on. Find someone you care about. Make them laugh. Make them smile. Brighten their day. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And with that, we will see you when we see you.